Hello, everybody. Uh, so I'm not going to do a spoiler warning with this video, obviously, uh, because you saw the thumbnail, you saw the title, you clicked on it, that's on you. Um, but aside from that, uh, I want to say take this leak with the absolute tiniest grain of salt. Because these do come from 4chan, these were posted on October the 7th, so a Monday, this past Monday at like 11 Eastern, so let's get into it, shall we? Again, from 4chan, grain of salt, let's take a look. Hello everyone, I work for the Pokemon Company, while I don't work on the games directly, I do know a lot about what's going on behind the scenes, so I'm here to share some info regarding Legend ZA as well as plans for the Pokemon franchise going forward. Unlike what's been speculated, the game takes place in the present day, set a few years after X and Y. The starters are Jespin, Finnick, and Froki again, however their final stages can mega, are mega evolution, have mega evolutions. We play as new characters named Andrew, ma the male character, and Indalia, the female character, who are assistants to Professor Sycamore, and they eventually join the redevelopment team Quasar. Quasar is led by a man named Rico, who is the, who has the vision of a new Kalos, where people and Pokemon can coexist together. His plan is to expand Lumio City from its original size and install artificial biomes around the city, similar to the terrarium from the Indigo Disc. The game is set entirely in Lumio City, as previously stated, but that also includes five different areas surrounding the city, which consists of a forest, a swamp, a desert, a coast, and a snowy forest. The player is tasked to go to these areas, catch Pokemon, collect resources, and clear the bosses of each. Typical Legends stuff. Um, once an area is clear, buildings will be built on top of said area, and artificial biomes will be installed in order to preserve some of the nature. This expands the city from its original size, and new buildings such as salons and clothing shops get unlocked, and new mission areas. Going inside the artificial biomes, you can find and catch Pokemon not found anywhere else in the game. Lastly, there are five ride Pokemon, which consist of Go-Goat for land, Noivern for flight, Lapras for swimming, Rhyhorn for smashing rocks, and Mamoswine for ice travel. Characters from X and Y make a, all make a return, including gym leaders and your rivals who are older and have careers. Characters from other games such as Loy Looker, Emmet, and others may also appear. To mark the return of Mega Evolution, 31 new Megas are introduced, spanning all the different generations. The ones with typings near their names, they have brand new typings. Uh, Mega Needle Queen and Needle King, Mega Machamp, Mega Lapras, Mega Dragonite. I don't know how they're going to make the. Well, it's going to be Dragonite Knight? Dragonite Knight Knight? I don't know, whatever. Gen 2 has Mega Crobat, Mega Slow King, Mega Mill Tank. Gen 3 has Mega Flygon. When I saw Mega Flygon, that was the first indicator to me that kind of like felt like this could be big because everything so far sounded somewhat plausible to a degree. Um, but Mega Flygon is a giant red flag. Uh, Mega Milotech is a water fairy. Uh, Mega Staraptor is fighting flying that would track. Mega Luxray is electric dark that also would track. Mega Rosary, Mega Weavile, Yen Mega is now Bug Dragon, and Mega Frostlass. Mega Crocodile, Mega Chandelure, Mega Haxorus is Dragon Steel, that makes sense. Mega Volcarona, that sounds terrifying. Uh, Mega Tessarina, Grass Fighting, that makes sense. Mega Mimikyu, Mega Corviknight, Mega Tatricity, uh, Mega Amarouge, Cerule Edge, Tinkaton, and Mega King Gambit. On top of this, every Mega introduced in X and Y and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire will return, including the Hoenn starters, Mewtwo, Latios, Latios, and Rayquaza. Each of them are linked to side quests in order to unlock them. Steven Stone from Ruby and Sapphire assigns you a task to capture Latios and Latios, where he gives you their Mega Stones upon completion. Zeana from Oros returns to seek help in capturing Rayquaza and will teach a Dragon Ascent upon capture. Loku returns alongside Annabelle, where they investigate Ultra Beast sightings in Kalos which introduces two new Ultra Beasts alongside a new Fire-type Tapu. Interesting, 
But I don't know why ta a, a Tapu, which is an island spirit, would show up in Kalos. Uh, Miriam from Scarlet Violet has a quest where you can try and help her set up a class at Lumios Academy. Fine. Um, this quest confirms the game is set after Scarlet and Violet. Lastly, Emmett from Black and White is going to be looking for Celebi in hopes of tracking down his brother Igno in Hasui. The mission ends with Celebi sending Emmett back to the past and to Hasui, and you can get to keep Celebi as a reward. Out of all of this, that is one of the few things that I really hope is true. At the... Alright. Um, I'm going to stop here for everybody, because then we're having story spoilers going in from there, and I don't necessarily want to uh, do that. So, um, we're not. I'm not going to go any further for like my own spoilery stuff. Um... Because on the off chance that this is real, I don't want to have what the story of what's going to happen spoiled for me. So this looks interesting. I'm all I'm all for it. I again, unbelievably tiny grain of salt. There isn't really I you know like there's minimal things like we don't we don't know like how valid these leaks could be. So we'll see what ends up happening. But um. This sounds awesome, which kind of leads me to believe that it might not be true simply for the fact that I don't necessarily have a lot of faith in Game Freak to be able to execute this in a way that is good. So, hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hibmediagg slash discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And Given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at himedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have great day.